So, my name is Miho, and I'm a big fan of sake, so tonight I thought I would share some of my passion, but instead I decided to talk about something just as important, but maybe a bit more universal, hangovers. <laughs> so, you've probably experienced it over and over, and everyone goes through the same uh, phenomenon after drinking uh, all over the world and throughout history. So, and everyone has different methods, so I decided to do a little research and share some of my findings with you. So what did I find? The obvious solution is abstinence. We shouldn't drink. Um, and lots of water. So drink water in between and also after drinking. It's so simple. But can we do it? Not really, because we tend to forget, especially when we're drunk. So, and also there is a research showing that people don't really learn from painful drinking experience. <laughs> so we forget and we don't learn. So we're kind of hopeless, but there's nothing new to that because hangover has been around ever since human beings started drinking. Some people say ever since Stone Age, some others say it was a bit more recent, but in any case, um, we've been making the same mistake for thousands of years. And throughout history, uh, all these drinkers, like me, have been desperate to find different methods to cure uh, hangovers. So ancient Romans used to eat uh, deep-fried canaries, and Mongolians drink, uh, or drank uh, sheep eyeballs in tomato juice, and Sicilians chew on a dried cow's penis. And my mom always forces us to take, yeah, no drawing, sorry. <laughs> so my mom always forces us to take these small black pills, uh, supposedly made of mountain herbs, and one day I thought I'd be nice to share, uh, share them with my friends, and they thought they were rabbit poop. And in fact, cowboys in the Old West used to take uh, rabbit poop tea to cure their hangovers. So people try different things. So the stink bug. So in some parts of South Africa, this is the cure for hangovers. So people have different methods. But where is the logic? Where is the science behind hangovers? So, uh, scientists have been working pretty hard, and they have produced a lot of scientific research on hangovers using anything from fruit flies, mice, and even a lot of college students. And what did they find? They, they seem to tell us that there are three important components to hangovers. So firstly, you don't, wanna, you don't want too much alcohol to enter your system, and when it's in your system, you want to break it down as soon as possible, and also get it out of your system as soon as possible. So how does this apply to your daily drinking, drinking settings? So, <laughs> traditionally, sake is served warm, and this makes a lot of sense in terms of uh, hangover prevention, because warm alcohol gets absorbed into your system faster, so you feel tipsy faster than when you're drinking cold alcohol. So people tend to get drunk and stop drinking before they consume too much, or so they say. And some of my friends take a glass of milk before they go out drinking to put the lining in the stomach, just to uh, block too much alcohol to come, come into the system. And some people eat snacks uh, when they're drinking, and that has the same, same effect. And there's also the Ukon drinks, the turmeric <laughs> drinks. I love them. You can find them at any convenience stores, and they work like magic. And they're supposed to help uh, metabolize the alcohol the alcohol components in your system, and the great thing about it is that you can drink it before, during, or after drinking. And sleep. My friend claims that when we are drunk, uh, we tend to breathe shallower, so our brain doesn't get enough oxygen, and that's causing a headache. So she tells me to take a deep breath whenever I, I wake up in the middle of the night. And... Oh, and because you want to flush out all the alcohol from your system, you want to replenish uh, electrolytes and also water that you're going to be losing. So soup, any kind of soup and juice seems to be a universal cure for hangovers. Here, miso soup. 
And talking about excretion, the prettiest form of excretion probably is sweating. So I'm going to talk about sweating. And uh, the, the nice way to sweat uh, when you're hungover, hangover is uh, to take a nice slow bath. And if you're a bit more challenging, you can also eat something spicy or exercise. I never believed that exercise worked, but I tried it myself a few times, and it does work like magic. But you do go through two hours of absolute hell. So you might want to consider that before you try it out. And some of my friends even start drinking again as soon as they wake up. And I guess it's called the hair of the dog. And uh, they claim that it works. Some say that it's logical because it's diuretic and they're excreting all the alcohol. Some say that um, it, kills the, it kills the pain. But in any case, even if all these methods don't work, we just learned earlier that we tend to forget all the painful memories from bad drinking nights and painful drinking experiences. So in no time, we're going to be back at drinking table and happily drinking again. And <laughs> this is it, but I would like to thank my great friend Luis Mendo for doing all the wonderful illustrations. And together, we are going to be starting a magazine about sake and also the sake culture in English. And we're developing the contents right now and looking for sponsors. So they'll come out sometime soon, hopefully, maybe this year, maybe this summer. So thank you.